Uh, hello to everyone. Uh, first of all, by tradition, we are very pleased to be here. And uh, first of all, thank you, Gurtam, for inviting us to such a big event. And what is really valuable about this event, in my opinion, that the audience here is so broad, so diversified that you can really uh, get the unique, have the unique opportunity to get in touch with uh, very interesting people who maybe you will never see um, if uh, you haven't been invited to this event. So uh, many of you maybe already uh, heard about our company and uh, know our company as a Russian manufacturer of GPS trackers, vehicle trackers. We produce uh, uh, personal trackers as well and uh, radio frequency ident uh, identification systems. However, um, today I would like to focus on a different subject uh, related to wireless solutions in, uh, in telematics uh, and um, wireless control of parameters. I'm sure, and uh, uh, this is not only my opinion, in our company we believe that wireless solutions actually is the future of telematics. I don't know whether you agree with me or not. Do you think that, is, is uh, this subject really interesting to you? Wireless solutions, wireless sensors, wireless trackers? Okay, thank you. And uh, uh, based on this belief that we all have uh, on our minds, uh, we decided to um, go to this side, go to, the, uh, to, to this wireless world, and uh, to create uh, temperature, illumination, impact, rotation, inclination, magnetic field sensors, which are all wireless. Uh, and uh, we always use uh, blue to flow energy technology. Uh, for them. So uh, you can use uh, all these wireless sensors in uh, refrigerators, stationary refrigerators, moving refrigerators, uh, to control uh, some vehicle units um, when uh, you are working, for example, uh, with uh, some uh, components or some uh, heavy vehicles, agricultural vehicles, and you want to control some uh, additional extra tools that you are using with this vehicle so it's very comfortable to use wireless sensors, lifting equipment and for sure you can control cargoes, especially some cargoes uh, which require respecting uh, temperature requirements while transportation so it's very comfortable. And uh, I would like to ask you how many of you face the problem of the temperature control. Just raise your hands, I want to understand. Uh, uh, okay, so there are many, many of you face the issue of temperature, but now maybe you uh, will just allude, tell me, uh, what is the percentage uh, of uh, this work in the whole amount of all your issues? 10%, uh, 20%, even less, even less. Okay, so this is already interesting to us because <laughs> we, um, uh, we have work. You will provide us with this work for us. So uh, today I would like to tell you about our first uh, wireless sensor, ADM31, temperature and illumination sensor. Um, Actually, you can see all the data uh, in my slide. I don't think there's really a need to read because everyone can read. I just want to emphasize that we created a very uh, unique solution because it controls at the same time temperature and illumination. What's the use of that? But very often you... Uh, so when the illumination is also controlled, you can uh, really control, uh, if you imagine a, f a refrigerator, a big truck, yes, when the doors are opened, you can understand it easily uh, by the values, by, by the illumination values that will be uh, shown in the Sensolate uh, application, which I will 
uh, talk about a bit later. So what are the problems, what are the main problems which we can solve using our wireless trackers, temperature sensor specifically? Um, for sure, uh, I think uh, when our engineers uh, were elaborating this specific solution, they were thinking of perishable produce. Uh, which are so many, and I know that many transportation companies uh, face these problems so often in their activities, in their real life, that sometimes it's so challenging to run this kind of business. I, I don't know, I'm basing on our experience in Russia, because uh, Russia is a very big country, and uh, transportation is a really a big issue in Russia, because uh, uh, we are very fo famous for our good quality roads as well. <laughs> so, and uh, uh, our um, spe special conditions and special requirements. I think maybe for m many companies from the African uh, continent, African region, this solution may be really interesting from any hot countries because uh, um, this is actually a very cool solution to protect your cargo during a long transportation and uh, uh, thus minimize the risks of losses, any damage and so on. Uh, so this is, uh, I, I don't know whether uh, you are familiar with this application, I'm sure you are, because this is uh, the famous sensolator, which I find personally very uh, attractive, beautiful, and uh, simple to get the data. This is not very sophisticated. Here you can see our, uh, the, the data collected from our three sensors that uh, we have installed uh, on a track. And uh, the first sensor has been installed outside. So here you can see uh, actually the uh, temperature of uh, the environmental temperature, 19 uh, degrees of Celsius, and two other sensors, we have uh, inso installed them into the truck. So uh, here you can see the same temperature. It's very comfortable. If you work with this, I, I, I'm sure you can really evaluate all the advantages uh, of this uh, application because here in real time, you can really control the temperature uh, uh, in your refrigerator inside and you can really understand where the doors are opened whether they are closed because the illumination is also controlled here in Luxus. So uh, this is a report which we have generated from uh, We Alone as well uh, and it shows uh, how actually the values uh, are um, displayed. Illumination sensor, temperature sensor, uh, and uh, illumination and temperature values, I would say, because we have the only one sensor for illumination and temperature control. So uh, these reports are very helpful uh, when you try to understand uh, why the cargo was damaged, for example. So this is very useful to make decisions afterwards. Maybe this is uh, your driver who was guilty because he opened the door, he uh, just went out, uh, was smoking and uh, I don't know, uh, chatting with his friends. Anyway, the fact is always in front of you. You can see it, you can judge very objectively, uh, thanks to uh, our hardware and uh, these uh, very useful reports from We Alone. The same uh, report about the temperature. So this is actually the report which shows how it works. Because here this refrigerator was just going, going during maybe two or three days and you can see how it works because you can see the temperature of three uh, sensors and how it uh, has been changing during the time. So everything is very transparent here in this report. And uh, to simplify uh, your life, we uh, have created a special application, Android-based application, uh, which allows you to get all the data in real time uh, via Bluetooth. Uh, so you just download this application 
and uh, you can uh, um, see all the values, temperature, illumination, if you use our inclination sensor. So because here the example is with our inclination uh, sensor as well. So you can see all the data um, in this application on your screen. So in this case, I would like to emphasize that in this case, you even don't have to use a GPS tracker. You can just use this application and with your phone without opening the doors of a refrigerator, because sometimes it's really critical, uh, you can get all the data in this way. Uh, so, I think uh, this solution, uh, um, so ADM31, which is our temperature and illumination sensor, uh, is actually our first pilot wireless sensor. Uh, however, uh, we have uh, um, an inclination sensor as well, which we are ready to demonstrate to you uh, today in our stand. Uh, and we even uh, bought a toy uh, track for you. And I'm sure that you will like it because I know that most of you are men. All men like playing even toy cars. <laughs> and we will provide you with a special remote control, which you will be able to uh, take in your hands and uh, to just play with uh, this um, uh, track because we have put our inclination sensor just there on and uh, uh, in uh, sensor later as well on our tablet as well as in this application on uh, my colleague's uh, phone, cell phone, you will be able to see how it works. It's really uh, impressive. I really advise you to go there and uh, to entertain yourself. Uh, so. <clears throat> this uh, um, actually uh, we try to describe here uh, the main uh, frequent damaging um, of transported goods, but I'm sure you, you are aware of uh, these problems because uh, as far as uh, I know, uh, perishable produce, just like ice cream maybe, or fish, or meat, uh, uh, and uh, maybe another problem relates to medicine, because uh, um, I know that in many cases you, uh, you are not just allowed to, um, to violate the norms, the requirements of transportation for medicines, because afterwards they might be uh, damaged uh, and uh, cannot be used um, by people. So we offer this solution uh, to uh, solve all these problems and I hope uh, to see all of you in our stand and uh, to play with our toys, to see all uh, our GPS trackers which we have also brought here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ksenia. We actually do uh, have a couple of minutes uh, here uh, for questions, if we have any. Do you have any questions from the audience? Uh, the question in the middle is Tabin. How many sensors can you connect to the tracking device? I'm sorry, don't see you. Don't see you, don't Over here. Ah, okay. Hola. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> see, uh, once again, please. How many sensors can you connect per tracking device? Uh, actually, we can connect, connect three sensors, I think, with our ADM um, 007 Bluetooth. We have tried, I think, with three sensors, up to three sensors now. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, gentleman in the front. One second, one second, if you could speak into the microphone right there. Uh, the sensor have some internal memory, I uh, saw so you can access directly to, a, uh, to an application without using a tracking device. Have some internal memory, maybe? Uh, so, um, these are actually um, Bluetooth sensor. Yes, they have internal memory as well, because actually all our solutions are based on uh, um, uh, whether we use black boxes inside, <coughs> whether we use uh, C, uh, SD memory cards inside. But here we are not talking about any GPS solution because uh, wireless sensors work based on Bluetooth uh, low energy technology. But uh, I think maybe you should, you would rather uh, make this question to our uh, okay. technician 
because uh, actually, I, I think yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. It's my, my personal opinion. Mm. Anybody else? Okay, great. Let's give it up to Ksenia. Thank you so much, Ksenia. Thank you.